good evening welcome to the basic course in vedic astrology basic, basic course in vedic astrology second year by shiva sarvamangala institute of vedic astrology let's start with small recap So far, we have done three nakshatras, right? Yes, sir. Ashwini. Ashwini Barani Pritika. Nakshatra. What are the symbols? Symbol for Ashwini? Horse. Horse yes. head. Horse head. Hmm. That's right. Horse head. Barani symbol? The womb. No? Correct. Womb. Somebody joined. Then Kritika symbol. Sharp objects. We precise razor. Razor. Then who is the ruler or lord? Ashwini. Ashwini brothers. No, no. The ruling planet. Planetary Lord. Ketu. Ketu. For Barani? Yama. Yama. Planet, I'm asking. Planet. Uh. Venus. Venus. Yes. For Kritika? Mars. Sun. Mars sun. Or sun. It's sun. sun. Yeah, sun is correct. Then then the Devata. Ashwini. You already said right, Ashwini. Ashwini date is Ashwini Kumars. Barani deity. Yama. Yes. Yama or Lord of Dharma. Kritika deity. Kritika deity. That's easy. Agni, fire. Okay. Then 
what are the key features if lumber is born in these nakshatras we should be able to tell at least one key feature healer hmm, very good healer then powerful yeah power duty or courage beauty then movement then barani key features social just transformation cleansing mm. nurturing yes idealistic hmm. nurturing it also brings creative creative then also towards knowledge okay sociability is correct that was also mentioned sociable okay then kritika fighter ambitious hmm? ambitious ambitious yes ambition they are really fierce you can say hence fighting comes within that then protector protector can't really so so <clears throat> because it can become even the other extreme since the desire and is strong you can say this is more of passion passionate the next one is also comes under that rohini so uh passionate rutika uh the other thing is since it is razor they will be sharp in many things sharp means sharp in speech and then uh, sharp in their approach it can be very direct like that okay very straight forward like things look like that okay this much recap is good today's nakshatra is rohini or do you know anything already what we know what we know already i'll put here
what we wonder. Then after the slide, we'll do the last column. Okay, can you tell me what you know already? Oh, Hini, do you know anything? Rohini will be yeah. in which, which it, it, zodiac? It, it comes under balanced nakshatra. What nakshatra? Balanced. Balanced, yes. It is a balanced one. Which zodiac sign it is in? Taurus. Yes. Balanced nakshatra. It's in Taurus. Okay. Anything else? What's all? And what do you expect? I mean, what what questions do you have? Uh, it's, it's, it's number number numerical number is four. Four to next. And uh, the Lord is mm -hmm. Lord is mm -hmm. and moon is exalted in Taurus so maybe emotionally connected nakshatra exalted emotionally connected which degree is moon exalted? Degree, I don't know. I think degree is 10. The Rohini is starting from 10. 10 to 2320. So the entire nakshatra is in Taurus. Ten degrees and moon is exalted. Let me confirm. No, it is said to be three degrees. Hmm. It's not exalted in ten, it's exalted in three degrees. Exalted in Taurus at three degrees. So it's not exalted in Rohini, but it's close. Okay. Anything you wonder? What do you wonder? What's the main question in your mind now. What do you expect? Krishna is born in this nakshatra, right? Hmm? Krishna was born in this nakshatra. 
Yeah, that's correct. That will again come here. Krishna gone in this. Okay. Yeah, Venkat, I was just wondering. Uh, I am my my lagna is Taurus, and okay. and uh, uh, if 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 I check the nakshatra, no planet is there in Rohini nakshatra. So okay, there is no, no planet. Yeah, so there is no connection. That's what I was wondering between the lagna and the in, neither planet is there is in in Rohini nakshatra. Okay, yes. then you well, thank. You. So your German nakshatra is something else. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Not okay. the in, neither any planet is there. Sun, Saturn, okay. Venus, Jupiter. But ascendant is Lagna is Taurus. Lagna is Taurus. Yes. Okay. Sure. Not problem. So, fine. Uh, anything that you have that we can put here? A Taurus sign is actually ruled by Venus and Moon is exalted in that. So I wonder how they are not in the friends group. Hmm. Okay. How the friends enemy is that is separate? Moon is not enemy to anybody. Okay. But still it is grouped under uh, in a different group or under the first group. Okay. So that uh, moon, let me go here. Even in for all nakshatras mapping to okay. the signs, hmm. uh, the law, the whatever the nakshatra falling in a particular sign, the Lord is actually sometimes they are not uh, in the same groups. So how the sign is allowing that nakshatra to be hosting it? It's nothing like that. Okay. In one group, we have Sun, Moon, Jupiter, Mars, right? Other group, we have Venus, Saturn, then Rahu, Ketu, anything is missed? Mercury is neutral. This is the grouping, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't know exact reason or logic behind this, but my opinion is these are all work at the subtle level. Subtle means non-material plane. Okay, because see, sun is soul, moon is mind, Jupiter is wisdom or discrimination, Mars is energy. These, all of them are in material plane. This is completely hard labor. In fact, body is supposed to be Saturn mostly. Then Venus. Venus is Again, towards materiality, okay, material, luxury, comforts, okay. Rahu, there's Ketu only is there, that's a bit different, I'll just come to that. Rahu again also towards uh, materiality, okay. Ketu is the one here which is odd person, which is about detachment, okay. And... Uh, The way I can see is maybe the, it's the detachment from again, it's on the material plane, bless, but detaching from it. That's what it is not something like a subtle principle like these are, but this is, uh, you can say, an abstract. It works at the abstract level of the material things. Okay, that I'm clear of, of material. 
ね。This is the way I see they have been grouped, but this is not confirmed or uh, uh, something that I know from Dr. Bala or on the astrology. Something I will check later. Okay. And in general, if you take the moon, you don't consider it as. Even if it is with any of these uh, four, Venus, Saturn, Rao, we don't look, uh, look at them as enemies. Moon is a mind. Moon is benefic by nature. So that way, it is not an enemy. The thing uh, that can happen is that since their orientation or approaches may not match, it may result in some uh, condition or experience which we normally do not find it difficult to accept like that. For example, um, Saturn is more about, is not literally not about really thinking. It's about hard physical labor. Okay. But Moon is about thinking, right? It's the mind moon can work at a much subtler level. Since their approaches are different, they have been categorized differently. It doesn't mean that enemy and we don't need to make a literal meaning or take the literal meaning of these words. Okay, enemy and friend. Fine. We are in a learning process. So we just use some words or some categories so that we get a hold of some things. Later on, we'll find that these are having some other meanings or have finer meanings or have varying meanings but group due to some other reason. So these things will come as you get more you know, mature in this learning process. So it, everything is like a step. Okay. Once you go above the step, it has a different meaning. Okay. I hope I'm making some sense. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Um, then, anything else you want to add here? Or shall we go to throw any slides? Let's go to Rohini. After this Rohini slides, we'll do a recap of the Navtara concept. You remember, right? Nine chakras. So we'll do that because unless we recap, we will not have the good grasp in these. Share screen. Rohini. Okay. Then, uh, Ms. Sarsija can read this slide and the next slide. Description of uh, individual stars, Rohini, uh, from uh, 10 degrees to 23.20 degrees of Rishabha, Taurus, uh, presiding deity uh, god Brahma, the creator, symbol cart, ruler moon, myth, Sanskrit term for red, a color which symbolizes uh, passion and sensual, sensual, sensuality. sensuality. Yes. Presiding deity Brahma, the means creator. And this person will be and create. Actually, it's said to be having the seed of everything. Okay, all ideas, everything in Rohini. And the other thing is, Rohini is a favorite of moon. Okay. There is some mythological story that because moon was spending time with Rohini always, later on the, the king uh, <clears throat> cursed moon and then <clears throat> that waxing, waning began and then uh, spends equal time with the other nakshatras. Something like that. That mythological story is there. 
okay the other thing is considered as the most auspicious okay symbol is caught hence it will be related to also to movement okay and it's also very much uh related to planting something since it's also the creator of planting sowing okay not just plants also at other levels like ideas and all that let's go to the next one yeah you can continue reading a nature person born with moon in rohini nakshatra his her nature will be as follows they'll have great charm beauty and uh, charisma often indicates a critical or fault finding nature slim physique fondness for opposite sex Ex uh, example lord krishna alluring character as master of flute and winner of all uh, arts though his beauty and charm like through his beauty and charm like krishna signification being a it's symbol a, of the uh, sorry somebody else read uh, miss parvati you only read it yes signification can read yeah being a symbol of the cart which is pulled by the oxen hence also rules both cattle and conveyances rohini gowns sowing and planting sprouting and growing being growth oriented signifies rising climbing lifted to a great height sort of promotion and development yeah so it is about the growth farming lifting others to lifting to great greater height these are also again not to be taken too literally it means it also at a subtler levels like finish creating ideas growing ideas growing people like that service orientation since a balanced nakshatra it's oriented towards service you can read the next also mid mid symbolizes passion and sensuality Rohini represents all feminine qualities. Articles including physical beauty, love, romance, perfumes, fragrance, scents. Yeah. Okay. Then let's let me ask Mr. Vishal can read. the next two slides here yeah. physiology chains of muscles of the legs ankles and forehead yeah types of occupation dignified able people agriculture and industry subjects grow process and finish food products herbalist fashion pleasure leisure automobile and oil industries bars restaurants hotels dealers in aquatic products navy and shipping industries yeah uh do you do you know any chart where you have seen Rohini as the Janma Nakshatra. Oh, okay. So mine is Rohini, okay. but I am more into. uh not into really any of these except that i'm more into education but in terms of art i like doing art so 
there and all i get these things get connected okay or not exactly bars means like uh luxury those kind of things themes i like to do so that in that way through art i get connected to these but agriculture and all not really into that but growth yes yeah but i am not into these also but i have strong connection to water or water bodies like i very much attracted to uh, if i see oceans or lakes like that so that also will give you an idea that not to take this too literally in some way there will be some connection okay like i have the like connection to water okay let's go to that's all okay so what i would now like to do is do that navtara remember right or you can open that navtara slide and i'll not write names i'll just put initials so mr vishal your janma nakshatra is ओके okay balanced then parvati balaji your janma nakshatra minus punar vasu punar vasu punar vasu is passive right hmm is it active or passive it is in fourth pada no no classification class we did we did one this thing right classification okay let me try to open that it is passive i think it is yeah that's what i remember okay it it's passive. passive this is a passive Okay. Then Uma Subramaniam. I know so Punal Vasu. Okay, same. Then Punal Vasu. Ah, uh, Mr. Sija. It is uh, Shravana. Shravana is also passive. Now, it's passive, is it? That's right. Passive. Here again, you don't attach any uh, bad connotation with passive here, because that's the problem in these words. it doesn't mean it's lazy it means it's a different so i hope that is clear active passive it is uh, this is like you can say outward this is like inward 
we saw that right in the zodiac signs how male female are different it is somewhat similar to that okay okay and it doesn't mean that one is better than the other it's not like that this is is not to be considered like active is positive passive is negative nothing like that both are equal only thing is the, the way things manifest is different that's all and bo- either can be a strength both can be strength yeah no shravana so all are covered then uh yeah mine is there i'll just put l and v no any that's a balanced okay now if you check the navatara slide or let me show it once here navatara by the way yoga is still in memory or forgotten totally yoga you remember yes sir once upon a time long long ago we did yoga i am trying to find that navatara slide that's the reason i'm doing this recap otherwise we will tend to forget all these let me do a search somebody is very clear about the yoga is <laughs> that yeah nakshatras shad bala because i even see it in my local folder path oh, that is the chakra okay i am now sharing the cross okay now let's see uh uttara badrapad is what you said so that is sanishwara lord right so it's coming in 8 then shanishwara punarvasu is ruled by guru jupiter so let's make a note of this so you have shanishwara in the same chakra you have anuradha and pushyam in guru along with punarvasu vishakha and purva bhadrapad then shravana we had shravana hasta roni come in the same ruled by moon okay so let me go back stop this share Shavana had, so the ruler is moon and we have Hasta uh, Shavana in this. And here I will write moon. Asta Rohini. Unarvasu was ruled by Jupiter, right? Jupiter. 
विषाक्तान पूर्व भद्रपाद पूर्व सो एटलीस्ट फॉर योर जन्म नक्षत्र यू शुड हैव दी अदर टू इन योर मेमोरी पूर्व भद्रपाद हेड इट इज सैट इज द रूलर देन पुष्यम एंड अबाउट दीज नाउ let me just let's do this exercise uh today's let's find so today's nakshatra and then find which chakra it falls in for each of us at at present okay at present let me check we need to use internet so when we try say nakshatra means we are finding the moon's position at present matching to which nakshatra right so right now it is mruga shira up to 6 6 pm we have crossed that already then it's ardra so now it's going at present is ardra okay now let's go back that classification i mean the chakra one okay now where is where is ardra one ardra is in this one right sixth ruled by rahu rahu now let's take mr vishal's thing. so for him janma chakra is this right so this will be the first then second then 3 4 5 6 7 8 and for him it's the eighth chakra that means if you go down into this mitra it's going to be mitra so mitra means support from friends right so seek assistance in getting things done okay so far do you find anything auspicious happening or anything that uh, happened like getting support from some friend You you said it is starting six o six p.m. from today, right? Six six p.m. Ardra. Yeah. yeah. So now only it has started, na? So we have we'll discuss on the other previous nakshatra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, that is specific for Mr. Vishal. Hmm. Okay. It's better to discuss the previous one. That's correct. Makes sense. so we'll go to that means mrugashira mrugashira will be the basically the previous one so you have to go to seventh for mr vishal for mr vishal only vadha that means something destroyed or stopped It, something happened cautious and protect from destruction so they give unfavorable results unfavorable means again uh, that's what i'm saying this english and all not good for us so this unfavorable doesn't mean that the outcome is bad for us it just means that there is some uh, termination death or decay of something it could be anything could be an activity or could be some deliverable which may be good for us may not be good for us that is a different question okay so anything happened something like that no oh, i'm so sure no 
nothing happened okay no, it was cool sunday and uh, but the one thing i was i was just checking uh, after 6 o'clock when the class started my uh, my my daughter who is uh, studying abroad yeah uh, she sent me a gift of uh, many gifts online uh, Yeah, uh, it, cool. so it, that it, means because of the father's day <laughs> because of the father's day 16 16 the rang the doorbell oh. rang and the lots of gifts have come awesome. lots of things oh, yeah so that's nice. something you didn't expect right yeah nobody in the family my wife my my son was my son my son was knowing it yeah. but i was not aware and we were not aware my father and mother we were not aware <laughs> i have awesome. called you hari i will after the class i will call <laughs> very nice <laughs> that's the latest thing i i just so it happened Mit- after 6 6 pm yeah 6 15 it came in mitra so mitra yeah, mitra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mitra is auspicious hmm. okay then uh, so the others like the uma subramanyam you had uh, punar vasu so today vasu. before 6 it would be 8th mitra after 6 it is 9th uh, parama mitra <laughs> okay think... so it is coming here hmm. yeah so that means today it's mitra which is gone already yes anything happened auspicious or anything support you got anything any uh, anything special with a friend Oh, okay. And uh, one second. So that applies to uh, Sparati as well, right? Yes. This was the thing we had. Yeah. So, do you have anything? Anything that so far before six by six happened? Before six uh, today was the last uh, rotary year for our president, and uh, next year I'll be taking over. from him oh. yeah from july that's great so that that's also that's auspicious on day mitra when what time was it did you come uh, to know around 11 o'clock ah, okay. morning that's good so some positive event happened yes yes, yes. <laughs> okay uh then miss sarasija would be if it is shravana oh is it shravana let's go with now end stop that this now will be the second one it is sampat mm-hmm. expect yeah. luck prosperity and fortune So, uh, Ravana is here. So it is behind this. It should be ninth actually, because our starting is, sorry, uh, she is in Ravana. So it is second, correct. First was this. Second is this. And second is Sampat. Sampat. means wealth or prosperity it doesn't mean that literally wealth here doesn't mean that it's about money it can be anything that's you know uh even knowledge is wealth so something that makes you um uh, sarsija anything like that nothing uh, special as such like that nothing um uh, did you do some new learning like we are talking about before 6 6 pm uh, if your health is if, if your health was fine then it's also well yeah yeah health yeah but health is fine yeah then it's also well <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what here uh, wealth doesn't mean money only yeah okay for me also because it's rohini it be second this one only uh, 
I also don't see a direct kind of things, now, but I did have good progress in one of some one of the pending works I had. That happened, and that eventually will lead to better earning. So indirectly, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so let's also have a look at this. Uh, it's almost seven. So, Ms. Sarasija, you can read this one more time. Read this aloud. Uh, first one, uh, Janma. Then second, mm. Sampat. Third, Vipat. Mm. Shema, fourth. Fifth, uh, Pratyari. Sixth, Sadak. Seven, Vada. Eight, Mitra. Nine, Adi, uh, Adi Mitra. Adi Mitra. So just one one line, we'll try to recap on each. So Janma Nakshatra, I'll just say that. So Janma Nakshatra, here it will be <laughs> signify hard work. That means it's more about working, not the result. Okay. So it will enable you to do work, better work. Sampath is, we saw that just now, wealth, prosperity, wealth. Vipath is some hindrance, obstacle that can happen, misfortune, obstacles. Shema, or by word itself, we know it's auspicious. Something good might come in this, or it's about results. Pratyari. So this is an opponent or enemy. So you can have unfavorable results possible. Okay, Or you might get some opposition. Some person may be against you, like that, something like that. So what you need to watch out, what you need to watch out for are these Pratyari, then Vipat, these things. You can see for each day, whether mm. it is a Vipat or whether it is Pratyari. So you can take better caution. Mm. Then after Pratyari, Sadhak. This is accomplishment, achievement. That's the key thing of this. Then Vada, we, did, we had this discussion. Either it is death, decay or termination or something is stopping, something like that. It's, it's another un, unfavorable one. This one more thing you can keep watch. Rest all are auspicious. Mitra is, again, we saw that. So friendship, auspicious. And these results or the effect is more during the dashas. Okay. But on a day also you can see. Okay. Then that is especially if you have some planets which are occupying this nakshatra. That one about regarding dashas. Okay. Then last one is Adi Mitra. This is the most favorable. So you can get the best result. You can expect during the dasha or in general during the if that day you are having this, then you can expect something good. Yeah. Good dinner at night after six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's what this is. I think we we'll, let's do one of the classes on Panchang also because then we can make some practical use of this. Once you are you are getting familiar with nakshatras and also we can use this. I mean, at least our my parents and many of the people of my generation, the parents and grandparents were daily. They used to see all this Panchangam and all that. So it's better we get familiar with these, right? Fine, that's fine with you, right? Yeah. And my parents also do on a daily basis, right mm. now. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, even if we uh, decide to go somewhere, first thing they see is the you know the which date it is. Yeah, <laughs> Titi Yoga and all that they start seeing. The shops earlier, were... true. <laughs> Which direction to go, it's not to go. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then, thanks for joining. Actually, I initially only two people were there. I thought we will not have the class, but we had it. That's good. I think it was after 6, 6 p.m. and people joined. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. So we'll thank see you. see you again next week. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Venkat. Yeah, bye. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Thank you.